Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. I am back with the Upboard and we're going to test out some PS2 emulation. Now, I have spent about an hour and a half trying to configure the PCSX2 emulator to get the best performance out of this thing. If there's a professional out there who knows more about PCSX2, let me know some good settings here. I found a list of games that run well with lower end uh, computers and stuff like that. But as you see here, this thing has an Atom X5 Z8350 CPU at 1.4 gigahertz. I have four gigabytes of DDR3 1600 megahertz RAM, 32 gigabytes of onboard eMMC storage. And this thing runs an Intel HD 400 GPU clocked at 500 megahertz and 512 megs of RAM. First up, I'm going to run Final Fantasy X. Now up in the top left hand corner you can see the speed and the FPS of the emulator right now. So I'm running OpenGL hardware acceleration here. I've tried DX9, DX11 and OpenGL seems to run best on this game. But we're not even, you know, fighting right now. There's not a lot of stuff on screen and we're only at 50 FPS here. So if there is somebody out there who has used this emulator more than I have, let me know some settings that I can change around. I've went into the core settings and everything and changed so many things just trying to get these games to run a little better. This board is a low-end board. I mean, it runs an Atom CPU with an Intel HD graphics chip. I'm actually surprised that we're getting this good performance out of this game here. Now I have some other games to test that run really, really horrible right now. I'm going to be coming back to this emulator after I figure it out a little bit. I've spent a lot of time with this on higher end PCs and I haven't had to tweak as much stuff because things just work with a higher end PC for me. So right now the speed is at 96%, almost at 60 FPS, but we're not battling, we're not doing much here. There is a lot of stuff on screen right now, but I'm sure it's going to dip down if we get into a big battle or something like that. I'm going to switch games now, and I'm not spending much time with each game because I really want to get this working at its maximum. And I need to spend more time doing this. It's not going to be today. It'll be this week. I need to do a lot of research and get this, try to get it working right. So next up, Ratchet and Clank going commando. We're going to swap disks here, and I'll load my save. So really, really bad performance. Now I've actually had this, all these graphical glitches here, I had this on my main PC. I'm not sure if um, it's just this game, but all these things. Walls and some textures just glitch out really bad with this game. So speed is uh, 70%. It goes on up. Come on. This does run a lot better than any Android device that I've tested, though. They've done a lot of work with this emulator. It works really well on a higher-end PC. My um, older i7-2600 with a 270X graphics card can pretty much run anything at full speed. But these are going to be unplayable right now. We're going to try Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. It's just crazy. All messed up. Now, I've went through and I've changed a bunch of settings. I've tried different cores. Every core that I tried, it kind of looks like this. I got a lot of uh, glitching going on. I mean, as you can see, the reflections or I guess this is supposed to be the sun ray here. It's really messed up, and we're running at 50% speed. 
28 FPS. Auto motor leaster. Let it load up. Really, really bad. Okay, so what I want to do is if there's anybody out there who uses this emulator a lot and knows a lot about it, I want to show you the settings I am using right now. Now, I've tried several different combinations here. Okay, from here you can see I'm using the SSE2, and I've tried all three of these, and they seem to all run about the same. Configure. In this demo here that I just did, I was using OpenGL hardware. I have tested 3D, 11, 9, OpenGL software. I've tested everything. And OpenGL, Direct 3D 11, Direct 3D 9, they all seem to work about the same. OpenGL hardware worked a lot better within the Final Fantasy X game. So I kind of left it there. Internal resolution... I go to native or two times native. Now, I've not noticed a big difference going between both of these here. I tried frame skip. So what I wanted to do here was just kind of sit on these screens so you could see what settings I am using. If you do use this and you know how to help out, please let me know. So if you know more about this emulator and you can help me out, please let me know in the comments below or send me a private message. I just wanted to show you guys this running right now, the way it sits. I've only worked on it for about an hour and a half trying to get everything ready. And uh, it just takes a lot of time to get all the settings correct. And to tell you the truth, I haven't really messed with the settings much at all when using this emulator on any other PC I own because it just runs great out of the box for me. I appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe. I will be doing some Sega Saturn testing, SNES, all the great emulators. Like always, thanks for watching.